That is an ugly log. Holy smokes. Welcome back to Middlefield Custom Sawmill. Today on the sawmill, we have this ugly log, but ugly log. <laughs> this is a big pine, and I mean, it's got just knots and branches, and look at all these. Oh my goodness. In fact, that one sticks out so far, the saw is not even going to get past that. I'm going to have to take a chainsaw to that one. That was really easy with the skidster. This side fits, and I think you can see that side fits too. Let's get some measurements off this beast. Down here at the big end, it's 24 inches. It's about eight and a half foot long, and at this end, 22 by 27. Yeah, big log. We're gonna try and square it up into a cant and then cut, well, a couple of cants, three cants maybe. And then I'm gonna cut one by sixes out of this as fence boards for Robert. Cause I gave him 22 of them, he needs 250. So I have a ways to go. One cut filled the sawdust bucket. Oh man, that may have been an ambitious cut. All right, I'm gonna have to take one more off of there. I can get a board out of this part. One inch thick. Yep, it's full. Oh man, it's all wavy. Too many knots. Well, Robert, thick and thin lumber company. <laughs> I think you can see the daylight right here. And right here, <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That is just terrible. That sucks. The easiest way to fix that is to put a new blade on. So I'm gonna do that next. Be right back. All right, so I changed the blade. And the first thing, I'm gonna try and take a leveling cut and just flatten this thing out a little bit. Nice and flat. Hey, a new blade works wonders. It's all flat. All right. Um, I guess we have to roll her over. I got it flipped over, ugly side up. We got more ugliness to saw off this thing. So let's get to it. Oh, 
Also, important note, these lights, you know, I haven't finished putting them up yet. And if you look, you can see I have wires hanging down, right? Well, you see that piece on the sawmill there that sticks up? As I was wheeling it back, it caught on the wire for the light and pulled it right out of the plug. That is the grounding lug, ripped it right out of the plug. So I'm running one light without a ground. Oops. <laughs> Guess I better finish the lights. Time to do another cut. Oh, that's chunky. Oh man, that's really chunky. I think we'll take one more cut and then I'll show you the wood. Pretty pine. My stick's way over there, so. That's cool looking stuff. We didn't get very deep here. And on this end, make pretty boards. I spotted another reason it's going wavy. That should not turn like that. Not when the blade is tight. It's not down far enough. I guess that's it for sawing this afternoon. I have to work on the sawmill now. So I guess I'll continue this video once I fix the saw. Do that as fast as I can. Sorry folks, I'll be back. Okay, so I guess I should explain what happened here. The saw was really cut and crooked, and no matter what I did, it kept going wavy on me. So it turned out this wheel here I could turn. It was loose. Now it's not loose, you can't turn it. On these wheels, right here and right down here, there's two adjustment brackets. You can see it's an Allen screw and a nut, and that allows you to adjust this up and down. What had happened was the nut came off the bottom. Once that comes off and it's loose, this can, it wobbles around, and so the wheel came loose from the blade. So fortunately I had a spare nut. I put it on, I did a full blade alignment, blade and head, and just, I aligned everything here. I called Wood Miser. I walked through it with one of the guys at Wood Miser to make sure I was getting it all right. He told me I could even over tension my blade if I want, but the saw should be fixed and I'm about to try the first cut. So what I was doing, I'm cutting 
put one by sixes out of this. This top right now is a little bit wavy. So I'm gonna do just a quarter inch cut, maybe a, a half inch, make a nice flat top. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll take it from there. <laughs> it's a log, I'm just gonna saw it up, okay? <laughs> the beginning of this video, it was like 55 degrees. It was really nice out here. Today it's 34. It's this far from water freezing. And I got water in that tank, so. I don't know how much of that you could see, but that did not cut well. Holy crap. See that gap under there? You shouldn't see that. And then over here, look at this, a ledge. This is where I stopped and started again. And it dipped, it dipped big time. I know, you know, this is some hard stuff, but this it shouldn't be doing this. There is something very wrong. Now well, back to the drawing board. See the blade is loose now. I can spin the wheel. But it doesn't move. It, it's fixed. It's good. Same with that one. It's good. The blade is nice and sharp. I checked the drive belt. It's tensioned. You know, I had already cut into the log up to about here. Let's try doing another cut. I'm going to just go real slow. We'll try that. I mean, it was making funny noises and everything. We're going to see what happens. A fresh cut, nice and slow. smokes. It's like I'm cutting through nails. It just doesn't want to cut. No, it's not flat. It's doing the same thing in the same places. Well, that's not as bad. It's all flat through here. Big dip right here. Jeez, it's this knot. I mean, you could hear it screaming going through there. I don't know. I don't know what to try. The fact that it cuts flat here kind of tells me the blade is aligned. So maybe it's just really hard knots. I don't know. I have never seen the saw struggle to get through pine like it's struggling to get through this pine. I was in there poking around. These are the two belts that were on it. <laughs> that could be the problem. So I've got two new ones here. You can see they're much better shape. And I'm gonna replace, these are the belts that go right here around the wheel. I'm gonna replace those. So that could definitely cause a problem. So I'm gonna put these belts on and uh, we'll try again. All right, the new belts are on, blade is tensioned. 
We're going to give her another shot. Keep your fingers crossed. That didn't feel any better. Look at that. It's a huge bump. It's got to be this, this, these knots. Maybe the log is full of sap, frozen sap. All I can tell you is it cuts horrible. This is like an inch thick. This is half an inch. That's a lot. So. We're gonna try something else. Oh my gosh, look at that, holy smokes. Look. Can you see it? Can you guys see that? <laughs> it's flat there, and this dips way down. I'm thinking it's the log because it's happening in the same place each time. I'm going to pull this log off and put another one on. I don't know what else to try. That blade looks fine. Okay, new plan. Today on the sawmill, we have ash. <laughs> I figured maybe it's the log. So we're going to test by trying a different log. See how it cuts. This one's got kind of a lump. So the first few cuts, it's worthless wood anyway. It's a great place to test. There is something very unhappy with my saw. Well, it feels flat, but it's not. Something is unhappy here. Well, back to the drawing board. So, I've been messing with this thing, with this blade diving on me, for like three days now. I've changed the belts on the wheel. I've realigned the blade three times. This blade is aligned so perfectly. No sawmill has ever been aligned as precisely as this blade is right now. I tried tilting the rollers, untilting them. I got everything set. I checked the drive belt. I changed the blade twice. Brand new blades. I tried everything. I even tried changing the log, thinking maybe it's just something with the wood. The log, right? Finally, I went in the garage and I grabbed an old blade that I had uh, Marvin resharpen. I threw that on, it cut perfect. I have a bad box of blades, the whole box. The whole box of blades is probably bad. All I can figure is the set is off. In other words, you should be 20 thousandths out and 20 thousandths out, and this side is 30 thousandths and this side is 10. That's the only thing I can figure, and I don't have any way to check the set. So I'm going to run one over to Marvin's and let him check it, but watch this. That's a hard ash log. That's a flat cut. It was the blade. I'm, uh, 
I changed it three times. It was the whole box. It feels so good. It feels so good to have that fixed. This is that practice log uh, that I was testing to see if I could get a flat cut. This is ash and I'm gonna cut it down and make one by sixes out of it. And then I got the rest of that pine that we started cutting and I'm gonna cut that up into one by sixes for Robert's fence. So let's get to it. So I'm filming this with my phone because my GoPro died. I don't know if the battery's dead or it's just got too cold, but took the sawmill, I put it away. You can see it's raining and it's getting colder and it's gonna turn to snow tonight. It's supposed to be a pretty bad storm, so we'll see. Out here, there's 38 boards for uh, Robert. Nice stack of fence boards there. And then my boards are in that pile over there in front of the garage. That way when I'm ready to finish that skid, I had to put the skid over there in the barn. I'll show you why in a minute. So there's those boards. I don't know, there's about a dozen of them. And I did, I'll get in here. I did get the plow on the truck, so. Bring it on, Mother Nature. I'm ready. <laughs> Look at that stack of wood over there. That's all got to be planed. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about the phone video. Yep, something changed.